Hi there, problem solvers. Today is Wednesday, the 20, mm, 22nd. And so today you are going to be working on lesson 414. And so you're going to need your workbook for page 245. We're going to go over that in a minute. But we're first just going to have a little bit of a review about, about math mountains. And there's a reason for that today because we're going to relate subtraction with addition and back and forth, addition with subtraction. And when we look at a simple math mountain, I'm going to start with a simple one. Um, if I have, I'm going to start with 10 and then 6 here. And then we know we have 4 going on here, right? So 6 plus 4 equals 10. 10 minus 6 equals 4. 10 minus 4 equals 6. So we can use those as an easy, easy math family, fact family here. Because we know that no matter which way, those are, those, that's the most simplest kind of form, right? Where we just have those two digits equal that, um, one digit equals two digits. There and that we can, we it has to it has to make sense though you can't say ten plus four equals six so remember the top this is always the total number and this is the add so this is the total the t member and the add end and the add end and when we're subtracting we know that we that that number the top number has to be doing the the subtracting for the other one so let's take that simple idea and now turn it into a slightly larger one. So here we have that math menu. Here we have 100 at the top. And then say we have, um, let's go with 80. And then we can count up from 80, 80, 90, 100. So I counted two tens, so that's 20. So here we could, so now we're turning this into a slightly more advanced number. So we have 20 plus 80 equals 100. 80 plus 20 equals 100. 100 minus 80 equals 20, and 100 minus 20 equals 80. So there we got, we got a little bit more in, involved there. Again, here's our total. Here is our add end and another add end. There we go. And then so here we have both sets of those. Now, today what we're going to do is we're going to take this idea of fact families and a math mountain and we're going to relate those two, that those addition problems and the subtraction problems relate to each other in the fact that we are going to be doing some problems then and showing how really we can use um, addition to help with subtraction to check it and how we can use subtraction and to help um, check our addition problems. So this is where you're going to pull out page 245 for me. So page 245 is right, he uh, is right here, so make sure you have that with you. All right, so we're going to start out with problem number one. You're doing this with me. It says, there were 138 students in the gym for an assembly. Then 86 more students came in. How many students were in the gym altogether? So we have some more coming in, so we're doing some adding. So I'm going to write 138 plus 86. I'm going to make sure that my 1s and 10s are lined up in their place value. I'm also going to write 138 plus 86 here as my equation. And then I'm going to think about how I'm going to add these together. 8 plus 6 equals 14. I'm going to regroup. There's my regrouping. 1, 2, 3, 4 plus another 8 is 12. I'm going to regroup. And there's my 100 plus another 100 makes 200. So 224. Plus 224. And then I'm going to go back to my question to find out. It says students. I've got some room here to make a proof drawing if we need to. Um, some of you prefer not to do that, so I understand. But if it helps you draw that out, that's great. Okay, so now I'm going to think about this problem here. There were 224 students in the gym for the assembly. When 80, then 86 students left, how many students were still in the gym? Okay, so some students are leaving, so they're going away. So that's subtraction, 224 minus 86. All right, 224 minus 86. Does anybody notice anything? 
about this problem and this problem. And my idea about addition and subtraction being related. You might notice that these numbers seem to be in common. These two numbers added up to this one, so now this one is subtracting this one. Might give you an ex might give you a hint about what answer we should end up with. All right, well let's try it out. So four minus six, we can't do that. So we need to regroup one of those ten or ungroup one of those tens, make it ten ones. Fourteen minus six equals eight. Then here we have our one hundred. So we make take that 100, take it into 10 tens, 11 tens minus 8 tens gives me 3 tens, and then 1 minus nothing is what? Hey, look at that! Hey, this is its own math mountain. Let's draw it right here. So the total was 224. We had 138, and then there's that 86 that came in and that left. So here's our math mountain. So if we're looking at this, how are the addition and subtraction related? Well, we could use the subtraction problem to double check the addition problem, couldn't we? Let's make sure we put our answer here. 38 students. If I got this answer and I was not 100% sure about it, I could then subtract back out and see if I ended up with the same number I started with because all three of these numbers should go together. So how are the, the uh, addition and subtraction related? Well, they involve all three um, numbers. Um, and so uh, it may, they make, make, a fa make a fact family and you can use one to check the other. Isn't that great? You can use one to check the other. All right, so today you're going to get a lot of addition and subtraction problems. You really need to look at the addition sign or the subtraction sign. And when they are word problems, you really need to think about what are you doing? Are you putting things together to add or are you taking something apart? to make it a subtraction problem. So double check that that is what, you know, make sure that each one of those makes sense. You can use one to check the other. Use your scratch paper to be able to do today's assignment. You're gonna go to 414 and do, uh, on Think Central and do those problems for me. Thank you.